marijuana in the state of Colorado has in some cases brought more questions than answers. This is Comcast Newsmakers and I'm Beverly Weaver and we are in the state capitol, a hub of activity while the state legislature is meeting and joining me now is State Representative Polly Lawrence. Welcome, thanks for being with us Representative. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate this opportunity. Yeah, let's talk about the legalization of marijuana. Obviously, a, voted, a vote of the people brought that to fruition this year. Um, but in some cases, you as state lawmakers are really having to deal with some questions about how that's going to be enforced. Tell me what you're seeing in terms of things that have come up before the law took effect. Um, I when the law was passed, it was, it was sold on the premise that we would legalize marijuana and regulate it much like we do alcohol. Um, but there are problems with that because alcohol is a much easier substance to regulate than marijuana. In um, driving infractions, alcohol stays in your system for just a limited amount of time. Marijuana can stay in your system for 28 days. Yeah. And so Finding that level, you know, where we can find a, a common ground for a DUID violation went through a lot of different variations last year. I'm sure that can, conversation will continue. Um, there are just a lot of different issues that continue to creep up with edibles, concentrates, how it's going to be sold, how it's going to be tracked, the banking issues associated with it. It's a broad, broad issue that we, I think we'll be dealing with for, for years. years. To come, really. Okay. And I know that some legislation that kind of relates to that on the issue of um, drunk driving and driving while impaired, um, you are interested in a mandatory sentencing for people with vehicular homicide cases. Um, where drug and alcohol might be involved. Tell me about the bill that you've introduced and, and really where that came from for you. Uh, this was actually brought to my attention by uh, DA George Brockler in the 18th Judicial District. Um, it was pointed out just the inconsistency in our sentencing laws that if you got into a fight in a bar and broke someone's bone, you could be subject to a heavier penalty than if you get in your car after leaving that bar and hitting and killing someone. Yeah. So um, it was suggested that we put in place a mandatory sentencing for the minimum range for that offense, which, which would be, I believe, four to six years. Um, but we're actually uh, putting that at, at the discretion of the DA so that there is some room for negotiation but it is a big tool that they'll have in their toolbox when these crimes do occur. Right, and there's one particular case in mind, don't have to mention any names, but tell me how this was something that you really wanted to grab a hold of. Well, there was an incident where a police officer was on duty and he was killed by uh, a young man who was under the influence of, I believe, drugs and alcohol. And the um, individual who killed that officer didn't even know that he had killed him. No. He thought he had hit a parked car. And when this case went to trial, the um, suggestion was that he get probation after killing a police officer. And the DA, George Brockler, had to work very, very hard to get a prison sentence for that offender, which I think was absolutely appropriate and outlines the fact that we need tougher policies. Yeah. We need tougher sentencing laws for those kind of crimes. Yeah, well, certainly thanks to you for uh, working in the state legislature and representing your district. Uh, state Representative Polly Lawrence, thanks so much for being with us on Comcast Newsmakers. Thank you very much. And thanks for watching. This has been Comcast Newsmakers.